Leo, what's going on with you this weekend, Leo? Leo. Leo. Somebody could be trying to one-up you, or you could be trying to one-up somebody. And we hate that energy. <laughs> we hate that energy. Yeah, there's that, Terrell. Because when you're standing in your true power, you don't have to one-up shit. Okay? At least you won't be doing it on purpose. <laughs> so we have child in the reverse and toil and labor in the upright. Why? Why? This is here for Leo. Child in the reverse. Um. <sighs> Either you isolated yourself from someone or you or someone did that. But there's like someone feels stuck. Either in thought, why well, I say it's keep thinking about a new start or making something right. Fighting for something. Getting out of this, I don't know, depression. Or taking an offer, but there's hesitancy. Ah, I want to make things right in my life, but I'm afraid to change. Or I know that it requires a transformation or an ending of something. It's like somebody's wanting to have this new start that will bring justice into their life, however the case. But can I do it? It's like something about change. <laughs> is there a fear of missing out or having to end some toxic ways or you may feel like somebody's getting over you as well maybe you missed out on an opportunity with someone what's the devil in the reverse you okay cool. all right could be a new person in your life or uh, somebody that you wanted to renew love with. Perhaps this per you may feel like this person's letting you go, something like that. But there's someone else here, my love, that you may be getting over that you were in a commitment with, but it was not working with this person. And I feel like there's an avoidance. I don't feel like it's ended. I feel like there's an avoidance. It's like... I could be over here, but I really ain't trying to be in no drama. I'm trying to get away from that. But then there's someone else. Maybe the person that you chose. Maybe you don't have a whole lot of faith that you could be with this person, but there's still an energetic cord or a tie between you two. It's like, I'm waiting. I'm investing. I'm trying to see how this is going to go. Because I feel like this could... Now, you know what is given, Leo? And I and I don't like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's kind of making my stomach hurt. Um, and I, we're all guilty of it at different points in our life. And I'm not sure if this is your energy or the cross watcher. But um, just ending one thing before you get into another. I feel like what I just saw was somebody maybe avoiding a relationship that they're still in. Okay, and but trying to work something else out, and I feel like whoever the other person is that they're trying to work shit out with ain't focused on working shit out. I don't know. Let's see. Why is the uh, hermit here? So your energy popped up. It's like, I know the logical decision would be to, there's three kings here. <laughs> this could be different sides of a male Leo that I'm talking about. Somebody could also be in same sex, into same sex relationships. 
Somebody has a lot of options and doesn't feel like they want to commit. But then there's a logical, a more logical part of them that's like, I probably should stop doing this. But it's like my mind playing tricks on me, something like that. Why the fuck are we It's like, how, how can you get over something if you're still in it? I keep my eye on this person, but I'm insecure, so I hold back from this person. They seem to have it all. I want to make things better. I want to be in a relationship with this person. I'm just reading the cards how I'm seeing it. But something may not be working out here. It's like, how do I make this happen? There's a pattern perhaps that needs to be broken from the past. Something that's distracting this energy. But there's avoidance. It doesn't seem like there's, like, you know, they're still there. Whoever the other person is, or if you're the other person, or who, whoever, the third party know who they are. Maybe. Sometimes it's so, the game's so cold where the, the third party don't know who they are, and the main don't know who they are. It's just, it could be a whole, mis you know, a whole, like, whoever thinks they're the main could be the third party, and whoever thinks that they're the third party could or whoever suspects a third party could be the main, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But really, if there's an avoidance of it. It doesn't feel like it's like an abandonment. I just don't want to commit to it. <laughs> if somebody knows that they need to move on from this ended... But I just hope that whoever this is doesn't doesn't decide to try to just control the situation since you between these two. Going back to this other person that I saw. Like I said, there was somebody who was in a relationship, it looks like, with someone already. But that person seems to be like not taking no wooden nickels. Okay? Very smart person could be a businesswoman or a man. But going back to, going back over there causes an argument with the pre-existing situation. Okay. Um, so let's see. What the hell is this about? Why is the three of cups in the reverse? And then I got a move. Somebody's deciding not to reconcile with someone. Um, there could be something pending when it comes to uh, something... Toil and labor. Something feels like a lot of work. <laughs> Take a moment to clear your mind this weekend. Something that you may be readdressing may not be going anywhere. See a possible, I don't know, this is an argument. It could be an argument about a third party situation or someone feeling like they've, they've been put in a competitive place when it comes to love. Something could be halted.
<sighs> Leo, what the hell? It's a lot of work to try to um, be in several places at once. It's actually not possible. I'm done with this. I don't. I don't like what I'm seeing, Leo. <laughs> it's just not possible. I feel. I feel like um, whoever this other person is, they they kind of hip. They kind of hip to it. It's gonna cause an argument on on the other side. But whoever this other person is, they're kind of hip to what's happening. You know. Let me see. This person could have Pisces in their chart. Be very intuitive. Being in a relationship is not everything. This person loves you more than you know. I think you found a lot of um, positive aspects in a relationship with someone. And sometimes we can lean so much on someone else, what, what someone else brings into our life that we forget um, how to create those things for ourselves. Somebody may be playing hard to get with you, but they love it. They love being with you, or they, they, they do love you, but they're just acting like they don't. Something like that. It could be you. Somebody's a serial cheater is just a fact. Leo, they love you more than you know. Somebody's behavior is confusing, and it's going to be revealed that somebody is not single. Gemini energy is here. It's time to disconnect from them. They are not single. Who is that? You're not listening to your intuition about them. Serial cheater, Libra. Somebody's not ready to be in a relationship. February could be significant. Aquarius, Pisces energy. Somebody's very possessive. Like I said, some, it's hard to be in several places at once. There's a lot of Gemini energy in your reading. If there's somebody that you're trying to get over, Leo, it could be a Gemini. Somebody is pouring from an empty cup. Okay. The love that you're looking for is not there or vice versa. And somebody's either going to get over it or die mad. I don't know what this is about, but retreat, not worth waiting for. Let go of control issues. You haven't freed yourself from something that I don't see a reconciliation happening with or someone that I don't see a reconciliation happening with and there is something that could be worth waiting for that you have passion for but there needs to be transparent honest conversation as it pertains to your love life and I'm going to move on to Virgo